The biggest problem you face in Insta360 Studio after you've reframed your 360 clips is that you can't join anything together, you can't add music, you can't add titles, and you can't complete your video. This free desktop video edit software called VideoProc Vlogger solves these problems. It gives you an all-in-one solution to properly finish your reframe 360 videos as well as edit your standard action camera videos from start to finish. And it includes editing features such as motion video effects and speed ramping. So let's get straight to it and take a look. First of all, there are no catches with this software. It's completely free. And as you'll see, it's very capable and really intuitive. The first screen that you see when you open the software is this one, which prompts you to open up a new project. You can select your frame rate and your resolution here. And for this video, I'll select 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second, as this is what I shoot in the UK. But you can choose from all of these options, including 4K. And once you've created your project, this is what you'll see when you first open the VideoProc Vlogger editing software. And if you've used any desktop editing software before, the layout will feel familiar. You have the main editing window here in the middle, and you have your import window to import your media here on the left. And you have your timeline at the bottom where you see all your cuts and clips and the editing decisions that you make. Now you'll need to add new media to the project, which you can do here by selecting the big plus icon next to add video. And then find the clips that you want to use. I reframed several 360 clips in Insta360 Studio, so I'm going to import them here and join them all together. The layout here is really nice and clear, and you can see that I have thumbnails of each of the clips I've imported. And I'm also going to import some music. I know, you can actually add music, and for those of you that have been using Insta360 Studio, this will be really exciting, and you can already see the potential of this software. So select add music here at the top and also you'll see up here in the media section that you can also add photos and add subtitles. So our media is now loaded so before we explore all the other features of this software we're going to put the media on the timeline. And this couldn't be easier, you simply drag it onto the timeline like this. And the white lines here show where a new clip starts. To make the timeline bigger for a clearer look at your clips you can click and hold anywhere on the top of the timeline here and drag it in or out to make it bigger or smaller. The timeline has a really clear and intuitive layout. We've just dragged our video clips on and you'll see at the side this is labelled as video track. And at the bottom we have our audio track, so let's drag the audio track that I've chosen here from the media window. So the first thing I want to do is cut the music track down to around about 20 or 30 seconds. So I do this by finding the section that I want to use and then by sliding in or out the endpoints. So this is very similar to the trim tool on Insta360 Studio. Alternatively, you can right click and then select split and then delete the section that you don't need. Or you can select the split icon here. And I can clean up the end of the track by adding a fade out or a fade in using this slider on the right here. And I can now adjust each video clip and tidy it up so it fits better with the music. And to do that, you can select the split icon or right click and select split. So we've only just scratched the surface here with the basic editing, but you can see how ready, how much better this is than Insta360 Studio for editing your standard video clips together. And there's so much more, so let's carry on. You can also add transitions to your clips, and I don't mean just five or six basic ones like you get with Insta360 Studio. There are over 60 transitions that you can choose from in this video software. And these transitions are simply drag and drop. So you choose a transition from the effects window up here and then you drag it onto the timeline across two clips and it automatically applies it. And there's no rendering time or waiting time, the transition is applied and can be played back straight away. And as well as transitions, you can also add an effects filter as well by selecting the effects tab at the top and there are dozens to choose from. And again, you simply drag and drop them onto your clip. And there's so much you can do here. You can have a glitch effect, you can make it snow, add some smoke, or pretend to be in the matrix, and who wouldn't want to do that? Once you've applied an effect, it will appear here on the effect track on your timeline, and you can easily change where the effect starts and finishes by dragging the end or the start of the effect here. So you can either use it over a section of the video, or you can drag it across the whole video. If you want to make basic changes to the look of your images, then you can do this by using the sliders on the right hand side of the screen. You can change the color, the contrast, saturation, as well as the rotation or the size of a clip. And you can also flip the clip horizontally or vertically. 
In the advanced mode, you can even add your own LUTs to the images. So this means that you could shoot in a flat log mode using your camera, which will give you a wide dynamic range and a flat image. And then you can add a LUT in the software, which will really make your pictures punch and stand out and you'll get the most out of your images. Another more advanced feature with the software is speed ramping. And speed ramping is an effect that you'll be familiar with from Insta360 Studio where you can speed up certain parts of your clips. It's really easy to apply with the video proc software, but the one real big difference is that you can choose from all of these custom presets. And this gives you so many more creative choices with just the push of a button with no effort. And once you've chosen your preset as a starting point, you can then make manual adjustments to it as well by moving these keyframes up and down or in and out. So I can change where the speed ramp starts and finishes and how dramatic the transition is. And my favourite advanced feature with this software is the motion effects editor. And this will allow you to crop into your clips using a fake zoom shot or create a cinematic crop, add motion to static images and lots more and there are more than 25 motion effects to choose from. To do this you simply add a clip to the timeline and then click on it and then select motion and then this will open up two editing windows where you can easily add effects and adjust the keyframes between the two windows to create the effect that you want. The motion effects could be a separate video in itself, but I hope this has just given you a taste of what this software is capable of. So you've joined your clips together, you've applied some effects, added some speed ramping, added some music, but there's still one more thing you can do to complete your video and that's add titles. And yes, we can easily do that here as well. And again, these are drag and drop from the top media section under titles. So you drag them onto your timeline and then you can make adjustments to the title, change the font, change the size, all from the right hand side of the screen. To export your clip, simply select export and then you can change the quality, codec, frames per second, variable bitrate, format, as well as adjust the audio settings. There is a lot to take in in this video, but I wanted to give you a really good idea of what this software is capable of. I pay £20 a month for Adobe Premiere, and from what I've seen so far with the video proc software, it can do a lot of what Adobe Premiere can do. And for beginners in particular, it makes the more complex stuff like the motion effects really easy. And of course it's free as well. Obviously with any software there is still a learning curve but Videoproc have a lot of online tutorials that can help you with that. Videoproc regularly run campaigns to help support users of their software and also to encourage creativity so keep an eye out on their social media channels for the campaigns that they're running. And for their latest campaign you can win a GoPro 10 and it's really easy to enter just by answering a couple of easy questions. Let me know what you think of the software and to help you avoid some classic editing mistakes you'll want to watch this video next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.